Welcome, this is Taryn from Elegant Upgrades, and today we are going to be working on this finish. It is kind of a rustic blend. It's got all kinds of texture and a few different colors kind of blended in. So when you look at it from a distance, it's pretty subtle, but when you come up close, you get to see all these really fun details in it. So this is what we're gonna be working on today. If you'd like to see how to get this look, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so as you can see, I have my base coat down of a blend, which is just Mellow White and um, some Iron Gate. I'm keeping it a little heavier on the bottom with the dark color, and it's going to be a bit lighter towards the top. So you do want to, in between every coat, make sure that this is dried for quite a while. So the first coat dried overnight, and then I came back and did the other coat. I'm working the blend up like I normally do, except I'm not really making sure that it's such a smooth blend like I normally do. This is kind of a messy, grungy look because we're going to have a few more layers over the top, so it just doesn't matter that much. It will all kind of be cohesive at the end, which is awesome. So if you're just starting out with blending, this is a really good look for you because it looks intentional instead of just being like, oh, I'm just not really good at blending yet. So this is a great look to start out if you're just kind of trying to start blending. So as you can see, I just kind of go back and forth with the colors. I've got my blank blending brush. And then I move to the front. The front already has its second coat on, and this is where we're doing the color washes. So I did aquamarine for the first wash, and color washes are just watered down paint. That's it. Um, sometimes you can water down a whole vat of paint if you want, which I don't recommend, but you can. Um, in my case here, I actually just used the paintbrush and the lid of the paint, and I made sure I just kept my spray bottle on hand and kept the paint really, really thin. And so what the washes do is help the blend kind of fade into itself because it's adding an extra layer of color over those two colors. And then also it's getting into the details of the appliques that I have on the front here. And so every layer of color that you can do, I only did two additional colors, but if you were to do more, it would just look more and more awesome essentially. So you have to be careful when you're doing washes because it can reactivate the paint if you're not being very gentle. So as you can see, I brush it on with my very wet brush and then I go back actually with a damp cloth. This one is actually uh, two uh, wet wipes. I like to start with wet rags instead of dry ones because I find that it just has a better look for me, but you do whatever you feel. Um, and then I'm taking this uh, deeper shade. It's kind of a red-brown tone. Um, oh, I'll have all the colors listed for you down below, but this is also a watered out color and it's just going over the top. Same technique with the brush. I brush it on and then I take my damp rags and I blot it back. And I'm not smearing anything. You can smear if you like the smeared look. I don't. I like the more blotted look. It looks a little more um, kind of rustic, stone-like. And I just kind of go back and forth. I initially did the aquamarine and then I go back with the brown and then I kind of go back and forth with the two of them until I get a look that I really, really like. And as you can see, you can't tell that those are the colors that I used when we're at the end. Just when you get close up, you're kind of like, oh, there's some, there's some extra colors in there. It's not just white and gray. So that's kind of the fun of this whole process is you kind of get to see little bits of extra without it being too overwhelming. And then to seal this whole piece, I am doing the whole outside in black wax. Typically, I'd leave this on a little bit longer to soak in, but as I'm using it also to fill in details, and I don't want the whole piece to get too dark, I am going back rather quickly and wiping it back. So if you feel like that's not enough protection for you, you can let it sit longer, and it will sit longer in the details and be a little bit harder to wipe back, but... That's how I chose to do it this time. So here's the end result. I hope you guys enjoy this look. I hope it helps somebody out. And uh, yeah, follow Chalk Mountain Paint and grab your paint from them too. Have a great day.